What's up, YouTube? And I am back again with what I'm going to call weird beers. I don't even want to call them. I would say most of you would probably see these in the store and go, why would anybody ever drink this? Uh, or you will go, I should try it. Or some of you maybe, I've had that and it's amazing. So, if you're like me, you like to experiment, you like to expand your horizon in anything you eat, drink, or whatever. Um, like, I only turned down one food item when I was over in the Philippines, as most of you know, which is bloat because I know what it is. I knew what it was going over there. I just can't wrap my mind around trying it. And I could be wrong. It could be absolutely amazing. But until I get the mental battle done, I, I can't do it. But that's it. Everything else, they said, hey, let's try this. Let's eat this. I was like, sure, whatever. I don't care. I'll try it. Give it a shot. I had squid for the first time. I had some of the foods, a lot of food for the first time. And I thought they were delicious. And they have not been something I normally eat here in the States. It's just me, who I am. So, um, I've also been bringing you guys some foods here on the channel. Some stuff that, you know, you store, normally see in stores. But you may overlook. Or you may not try. Or you may be like, well, I'm happy with my, like, the, the chicken, chicken taco Pringles that I posted last night. From the time recording it. So, Sunday, Monday morning, Sunday night. Um... Something else that you may not, you may see and go, nah, I'm gonna stick with my sour cream and onion or my plain or my cheesy one. I don't want to experiment. So, like I said, that was Taco Bell in a can, which was amazing for me personally. Like I said, everybody's taste buds are gonna vary. Nobody's palate is the same. We all have different flavors, different tastes that we like and don't like. And one thing that I don't like is hot and spicy. And I've been trying to try a little bit more hot and spicy stuff as time goes on. But hot and spicy and my tongue do not agree at all. Um, I like the hot, I like the honey sriracha sauce from Pizza Hut. But despite the hot, the heat from it does not agree with my tongue in any way, shape, or form. But it's fine. I still get it. I still like the flavoring behind it. So, what better way to start off weird beers than a hot, what I will assume, a hot beer. You're going to say, a hot beer? Why don't you drink your beer hot? Well, and to be honest, there's a lot of beers that are brewed to be drank warm. Just, we don't serve them here in the States that often. Um, but this is a hot beer. This is what I want to call a hot beer. This is a beer that is ale brewed with chipotle peppers. I'm not going to give you the beer yet until you, um, I tell you what it is. Uh, and on the back... It reads brewed using nine ingredients: chipotle peppers, free-range coastal water, Pac-Man yeast. No chemicals, no preservatives, no 5.4 ABV. Jalapenos aren't harvested until they're fully ripe and red in color, so it's brews jalapenos. Now I set this in the fridge for a little bit. It feels like it's cold enough to drink. It is a brew, a brew we have tried before, and I'm mixed feelings first time I tried them. So if you've had Dead Guy Ale from Rogue Breweries. It was a mixture of, it was a mixture as far as my taste buds was. I wasn't sure if I liked it or didn't like it. It took a few bottles before I finally decided I liked it because it's full in flavor, full in body, full in everything you want, like a full beer. So it was pretty good. It may be bitter to some people, but it's a full beer. Now, some people will be like, well, people only drink beer to get drunk, which is not true in any way shape or form some people do some people only drink beer to get drunk some people on the other hand like to take the educational science experiment behind it kind of like they do wine and figure out what to pair it with what to what the flavors are stuff like that me i find a beer i like if it tastes good i sip it if it doesn't taste good i make it disappear very quickly and then get then order another one with my meal um i don't want crappy beer I can't stand it if it doesn't taste good to me I don't want any more I barely want the one that I have I don't drink Bud Light I don't drink Coors Light I don't drink Miller Light I don't drink those I just don't like the flavoring of them I think they're too watered down personal opinion you may argue that all you want and I don't care that's why these all these brewers exist but at the same time craft beer breweries have been exploding 
And the reason is, is because people are getting tired of the watered down flavor and people want to experiment with their flavors. And Anheuser-Busch or Anheuser, whatever the hell it is now, has not understood this concept yet because they bought uh, Ellison Brewery, which I really liked. And now I hate the fact that they're owned by Anheuser-Busch, but good for them. Now they have more financial backing to expand theirs. But at the same time, as a craft drinker, I just now I have a hard time going and buying their stuff. Um, I but as soon as they bought them, they went and turned them bashed in pumpkin, was it pumpkin peach, wheat ale or whatever the hell they bashed in the commercial during the Super Bowl. So then people started making fun of them, and now you got some people out there actually brewing it, and it's actually selling off the shelf as quick as they can make it. And I think some of that's because they had just to put me to put their sum up and had to push ass, they go fuck you. And other people are like, well, I should kind of like this stuff. You know, this is actually pretty good. Um, I have another combination of stuff that I really would like to try and actually do on video for you guys maybe in the future. And it'll be a comparing thing of three three beers that are the same style. Um, I have to go buy them, though. And I thought about doing it today, but I decided I'll wait. Wait till payday. So, what I have here is Rogue. This says Rogue Farms. Grow Revolution Chipotle Ale. And it says on the front, Ale brewed with Rogue Farms Chipotle Peppers and on the back brewed in by Rogue Ales in Newport, Oregon. So West Coast people know all about Rogue Brews. And Chipotle Ales is delicately spiced in smoked jalapeno peppers. We grow ourselves on our farm. The jalapenos on harvest tend to ripen red, develop their full spice and heat. Now Rogue Brews also does a Sarancha one that I have not seen. I don't even know if I can get on the East Coast. I have seen it on their website, I've seen it on their Facebook, I've seen it on their Twitter. I have not seen it on in the store. Be it in Pennsylvania has some really stupid laws and regulations on how to buy beer. You literally have to buy it be a restaurant or a bar and have so much seating and yada 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 to sell individual bottles. You need to, or you have to be a distributor and the best you can do is like a twelve pack or something like that now. I don't know. It used to be a case of the lowest you could buy. If you bought it at a bar, you paid an arm and a leg. You paid like eight dollars for a six pack of freaking Bud Light. Now, now that grocery stores are starting to get approvals and Pennsylvania is starting to come out of the Stone Age, you're seeing prices on individual bottles and stuff like that come down, but they're still more expensive than what they were back in Virginia. So, but anyway, here you go. Here's the bottle. In case you're interested, this is the bottle you're looking for. This is the cap. So it's a simple road cap. You like that? Turn it upside down. And this is the back of the bottle. So, this is the bottle. <sighs> FYI, I said it before, the girlfriend doesn't want me, the fiance doesn't want me doing this. She swears I'm going to get drunk doing this, but I'm not drinking this all. I'm tasting it on video for you guys. I want to have a little bit. I may fill my glass to about halfway and just enjoy a few drinks, reseal the bottle, put it away for a later day. My assumption is that this would be something good with whiz meat, steaks, stuff like that, with the heat and the spice that I'm expecting from it. So, got a bottle opener. Got my Anheuser Busch Busch Gardens beer glass. Yeah, I know. I bash Anheuser Busch, but I live in Newport News, Virginia. Busch Gardens was like yeah, half an hour away. So, of course, I went to Busch Gardens. Then we have the Rogue Brew. So, let's pop this bad boy open. Got this. It smells like ale. I don't know how much flavor I'm going to get off this thing. Now, there's some heat. There's. There's something there. There's a little bit of. There's a slight pepper hint. Slight pepper hint with it on the nose. My nose is clogged, unclogged. I blew, blew it before I even started this video. So let's see what color we get. So, as far as I know, I need to really do this left handed because I am left handed. I always pour down the side of the glass and then tilt the glass as we go to get a little bit of fizzy, 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 fizzy. Oh, there we go. Chill I may have poured it wrong. Ooh, there's, there's some flavoring with this. I can smell it. I can smell it already. I'll pop the cap back on. I know I'm about to redo it, but it says Dare Risk Dream. So remember that. Dare, dare to make a flavor that you don't know. Dream it. Risk it. You may be surprised what you get. So this doesn't smell like ale anymore. It smells like a vegetable. I don't know. Yeah, I got a vegetable. I got a vegetable. It's a nice golden color. So, I'm no, exp I'm no expert in my palate training. I will tell you what I think, what I like, and if I like it or don't like it, if I buy it again, uh, $8 for a pint. 
That's the only way I saw it. It was a pint. Eight dollars in uh, Pennsylvania. I don't know what it'll be wherever you are, but it was eight dollars for a pint. So, like I said, by flavor alone, I could probably tell you to be good with a meat product, steak, hamburger, something like that, um, just because the veggie, the vegetation I'm getting from it, kind of like a dirtish vegetation. So, so I'm expecting deliciousness. I trust Rogue. I trust Rogue in what they do. Whoa. Okay, I said I don't do hot. Instant heat. I got heat on the back of my tongue. Hit the back of my throat with heat. Like, I'm not, and I don't do hot. So for me, heat may not be heat for you. But I got the heat. Wow. You get the heat from the jalapenos. Um, you get a, like that vegetation taste. That I guess I don't eat a lot of jalapenos unless they're on stuff. So I can't really tell you if it tastes like a raw jalapeno or not. But I know what the heat from the jalapeno is. And that's where I'm getting. Back of the palate. Up the roof of the mouth. I'm getting heat. By them. It's clean. Until it gets to that back part of your mouth. And then it all becomes like. For me, it becomes heat like instantly on the back of my back of my palate. It's definitely an ale. I get the ale. It goes ale for me. For me personally, personal opinion, it goes ale, vegetation, heat. And that's kind of like how I get it. I could be wrong for some people. I but my palate. This is what I am personally getting. Yours may be a little different in what you taste, but. I get the ale and I get the vegetation and maybe jalapenos it may not be it may just be a vegetation flavoring because of what it's used because of being brewed but there's heat there that is heat I makes me actually kind of fear the sriracha one but at the same time it makes me want to try the sriracha one you know it's kind of like eh, it's too much heat for me personally but a good I, I, I want to lean more towards like a good steak this would be amazing with some steak, some mashed potatoes, maybe some veget maybe some green beans or something. I could see this being really good. Yeah, I, I like it. It's a nice golden dark piss red color and it's pretty fucking good actually. Would I buy it again? Probably. Um definitely something I would drink with I'm having a hard time talking because the heat's getting me. Um I'm gonna keep talking about the heat because for me heat it, when it, there's heat, I can feel the heat because I said I don't do heat, I don't do hot. Um, yeah, I, I'll probably buy this again. It's really good, it's really clean, tasty. It's good punch with it, with the heat behind it. Um, I don't know. So, in my opinion, opinions are all that I have because I'm going to tell you what I like, and I'm going to tell you what I don't like. Okay, I'm not a big ale beer person. I'm not a big heat person. So for me to sit and sip on this while watching a movie or something isn't something I would do. Um, this is definitely something I would sit and sip on with my meal. Like if I'm eating a meaty dinner. I mean, let's be honest. I don't see it going too well with like a fish or a chicken. No, I don't really see it mixing too well. Definitely wouldn't have it with dessert. But definitely would have it with steak or something. Something red, a red meat product. I don't even know if I'd have this with pork. I don't know. I think a red meat is where I'm going to lean. Is what I'm going to go with. Maybe even more towards like having actual steak over a burger. But, you know, red meat is the generic subject where I would drink this with. Um, I don't know what to say. It's actually good. It's not my usual cup of tea when it comes to beer. I like my Guinness. I like my dark beers. I don't buy a lot of nice red ales and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. There's a good amount of heat to make you feel it. You feel it. I don't care if you can handle heat or not. You're going to feel the heat from this. It's pretty delicious. So, <sighs> Rogue Brewery. They usually make really good beers. 
This is just one of them. This is the Chipotle Ale. This is the first video of the Weird Beers. What I would consider weird, different, something like that. Weird Beers 101, something like I'm going to call it. Tasting of Weird Beers. I haven't decided yet, but Rogue Rogue Farms, Rogue Brewery, out of, what did I say this was out of? Out of Newport, Oregon. So, if you're in the West Coast and you see this, or if you're in your grocery store and you see this, go check them out. Visit us at Rogue.com. I'm going to show you all this crap you can see right here, too. You can see that. There we go. You can see that. You can see the phone number and the address. Visit the team. So, the podcast is out in the fridge a little bit longer, but I wanted to make this video tonight because I promised you guys a video tonight and I can't work tomorrow. I can't drink on my days I work. So, I'll put this away for a rainy day. You know, maybe when I have like a steak or something at dinner. Um, I think it's probably, I think I'm pretty sure beer lasts like wine. You got about a week or two weeks max open. And then you have to pitch it, so I'm gonna have to make a steak sometime because that's what this would be amazing with. So, Rogue, Rogue Farms, Rogue Beer, you know? So, for all you beer drinkers out there, expand your horizon, expand your taste. Try something different, you'd be surprised what's out there. You're tired of Bud Light, tired of Bud, Bud Light Lime, tired of Miller, Coors, Yingling, Sam, tired of those. Expand your horizons. Go see what's out there. Go to your local grocery store, your local beer place. Anybody that does a build your own six pack, look for flavors that may not be something you'd normally drink and go out and try them. Try the craft brews. Personally, I think that's your best bet. I'm not going to be one that's all. If you drink Bud Light, you're not a beer drinker. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to get some better flavors from craft, craft, craft breweries. That's my opinion and most of the opinions, which is why some of these big macro breweries are struggling today so rogue farms chipotle ale good heat good taste good flavor definitely something you have you want with a meal um yeah pretty excited about it i don't want a steak i had a burger for dinner i should wish i had this with my burger at dinner i wish i had dr spud buckets with me anyway if you're under 21 you know the laws do not you can't buy it don't ask somebody to buy it because it's just gonna get them in trouble wait till you're 21 that's being responsible. Been down that road. It's not a fun road. Um, also, don't drink and drive. If you're out at the bar drinking, make sure you have a DD or you call a taxi and see if the bar allows you to leave your car at the bar and try to get in the morning. If you're at a friend's house, DD, taxi, or just stay there. I'm an advocate of not drinking and driving. I'm going to push that every video I make of this is don't drink and drive. Whatever you do. It's a bad, bad time for you, your family, and your friends. So make sure you get home safely. Make sure you have a DD. Make sure you have a taxi. If you plan to spend all night drinking, do it responsibly. But anyway, that preach being said, if you like these videos, leave a like. If you don't, leave a dislike. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is Chipotle. This is Rogue Farms Chipotle Ale from Rogue Brewery, brewed with jalapeno peppers. And in my opinion, it's a thumbs up. And you want to use, you definitely want to eat it with a meaty product. Drink it, eat it, drink it with a meaty product. Wow. English is not my first language, obviously. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Woman, I know you're going to be mad. I made this video, but I told you I'm going to because this is something that I know when I go out and I look for stuff. I look on YouTube. I look, I Google it. I try to find help where I can. And this is for you guys. You guys that won't go out and may not know. You guys might see this and go, I'm going to skip this. It looks disgusting. It's actually pretty good. And it has a fair amount of heat. And the ABV is only 5.4%. So that's a, that's, a, that's a triple win for something relaxing. Something to enjoy your meal. Not too much alcohol flavoring. A good amount of heat. And a clean flavor. No chemicals or preservatives or additives, by the way. In case you care. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. This is Weird Beers. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.